One of the biggest characteristics that you hear a lot about this crankbait is that it comes through grass extremely well. But to be honest, I thought that that was all this crankbait was going to be good for, and boy was I wrong. <laughs> Look at that. There's one. Oh, God. Come here, Bubba. <laughs> Look at that thing. Chunky fish. There's another one. Oh, my gosh. Come here, baby. <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah! I knew that they, oh, look at old grumpy lips. I don't like much, but I like the hybrid hunter. If I don't catch a bass on this little island, then I don't know how to fish, because it's perfect. There he is, there he is. Woo! <laughs> look at how deep that fish got that big. Oh! This video is brought to you by sportsmansoutfitters.com. Something that I love about Sportsman's Outfitters is that it is run by guys like you and me, guys that are fishermen, guys that absolutely get eaten up by going out and catching fish. Now, whether you're looking for crankbaits, spinnerbaits, swim jigs, your favorite rod and reel, line, your favorite tackle, you can get it all at sportsmansoutfitters.com. If you guys would like to help support the Bass Fishing HQ channel, click on those links below and shop at Sportsman's Outfitters today. I must say, I was dead wrong about this bait right here, the Hybrid Hunter by Strike King. This is actually a very unique lure, and today I actually just came out here to just kind of test this bait out. I wasn't really anticipating on catching fish, and I did, and now I wanna to talk to you a little bit more about this bait. If you guys haven't heard how this crankbait kinda of came to fruition, I'm gonna leave a link for a video down below by Todd Castledine, and he was really the guy behind the hybrid hunter he has a really cool story and I would tell you right now but I'm just gonna leave a link down below if you want to learn more about this bait now this crankbait isn't extremely new it's kind of been on the market for I think about a year now but it's a bait that I was really excited for because one of the biggest characteristics that you hear a lot about this crankbait is that it comes through grass extremely well and something that I love to fish is offshore grass like hydrilla and milfoil and coontail and I love to throw moving baits. A lot of times I'm throwing chatter baits around there, but you get in so many situations where you get around other guys and everybody is throwing the exact same thing. They're throwing chatter baits. They're throwing lipless crankbaits. So having another lure like a crankbait, something that I can reel through that grass, it is very appealing to me. And I have found that this crankbait does just that. I have used this in places where I'm really impressed at how well it comes through that grass and it'll come through it clean. Now one thing that I was definitely wrong about is that I thought that this bait, because of the way that this lip is shaped, I thought it wouldn't come through wood cover that great. And I'm telling you what, this not only comes through wood cover, but it's probably the best crankbait that I have ever fished around wood cover. And I don't know if you guys can see, there's a big lay down right there. I mean, I'm throwing this thing just straight up in the lay down. And I mean, it's, it's just coming right through it. I mean, no problem at all. I'm throwing it over. Oh gosh, did you see that? Did you see that? Holy crap, that fish is Oh my gosh, that thing scared the crap out of me. I think I would have caught that fish if I hadn't have seen it hit the bait. I literally just, I saw a big flash and felt a little pop and my body just reacted. I just absolutely <laughs> jerked. Oh my gosh. Tell you one thing I really noticed about this bait is that it hunts in the water really, really well. And what I mean by hunting is, you know, not only is it diving in the water, but it, it goes side to side. There's a lot of side to side action. And when you have a crankbait that has a lot of side to side action like that, you don't always need to be hitting the bottom to be able to actually catch fish on it. Some crankbaits that don't really have that action, really about the only way you're going to catch fish on it is if it's hitting 
the bottom and when it deflects off of something usually that's when you get bit but as you can see that fish i just missed over there he hit that bait when it was just about to come out of the water and that's just because this bait will kick from side to side and when it kicks from side to side like that it actually it, it will actually trigger a bass to eating it Oh, there's a fish. Golly. Oh, gosh, it's a big one. Come on, baby, stay on there. Come on, baby. Look at that. We were just freaking talking about it. Come here. Oh! <laughs> Look at that, baby. There are places today that I have been throwing this bait that honestly, I would feel weird about throwing a Texas rig in, thinking that I'm going to get hung. Over about the last hour, I fished around this entire island that is basically nothing but wooden laydowns, and I got hung up just one time with this bait and even when i got hung up i literally just popped it once and because this bait is so buoyant it kicked back and i was able to get that bait now there was one other time that i got snagged on something today what in the heck do i got i got a daggum carp don't take my bait please Oh, he did take my bait. Daggummit, you stupid carp. Now, not only will it come through grass and wood cover, but I spent a good part of the day actually fishing this down riprap banks. And the same thing, it, it came through the riprap, it came through the rock extremely well. I was really impressed by the way that this bait just came through cover. Riprap. Old hybrid hunter likes the rocks too. Oh, God. yes, sir. The big thing about fishing a bait that comes through cover really nice is it really gives you the confidence to throw it anywhere. And if you're throwing this bait anywhere, you're a lot more likely to catch fish on it because there are sometimes, you know, even with like a bait like a spinner bait where I see a little area, maybe it's really branchy, really sticky, and I'm like, man, I don't know if I want to throw this spinner bait in there because it might get hung up. Well, there might be a bass sitting in there. And I was really impressed by this bait because it came through even the nastiest, like those really small sticks. Those are the ones that you get hung on a lot. You know, kind of the end of a branch where it really has small little twigs on the end that's where you can get hung a lot and this bait just came through it oh gosh got him golly dude this is too much freaking fun look how fat that joker is oh look at how fat that guy is are you kidding me look at that now, another thing is, is I thought it would be more of a warmer water crankbait because one, it is really loud. Like it's got some serious knock in there. And the other thing is, is that it's got a really big presence. Like this is kind of a bigger bait, although they do have the smaller size and I was fishing the smaller size today. It still has kind of a big presence in the water. It has more of a, uh, a, a rock to it and it just displaces a lot of water. And for those reasons, I thought this is kind of be a warmer weather, warmer water type bait. And I am fishing in 52 degree water today, 52 degree clear water and i was able to catch several bass on this bait a lot of crankbaits when you bring them through the water with kind of a round bill you know they're going to kind of go back and forth like this in the water as they kind of dig down now this one it kind of seems to get to a depth and then once it's at that depth it actually kind of rocks more than anything in the water and the reason that i like that rocking action is it actually reminds me of another lure which is a spy bait that rocking action tends to really send out a flash of 
of light. It sends out the flash of the side of that bait, which can actually draw fish in from a distance. I've seen this a lot with a spy bait, but with this bait, I can see it doing the exact same thing. Today, I was fishing this on my favorite crankbait rod. It's the Arc Tharp Series grinder rod. It's a seven foot rod. It's a composite rod. So it has more of that parabolic action, which I really, really like with treble hooks. I was also throwing it on a 6.2 to one gear ratio reel. Now I was actually fishing this on 12 pound line because honestly, I just came out here to kind of test the bait out. I wasn't expecting to catch a lot of fish, especially all around wood cover. If I known I was gonna be fishing this wood, I may step up to 15 pound line just for a little extra abrasion resistance. All in all, I was really impressed by this bait. I'm really glad that I picked some up and I'm gonna throw it in a lot of the exact same areas that I would throw a square bill, a spinner bait, or a chatter bait because it's just going to be something that's different. Not everyone probably owns one of these yet and anytime you can have something that is a little bit different, whether it has a different sound, a different action, they tend to catch a lot of fish. Another bait that I was really impressed by here lately was the Berkley Gilly. And if you guys haven't seen that video I did on the Berkley Gilly, I'm gonna leave a link for it right here. Another really cool bait. It looks really good on the water and I can see it catching a lot of fish. Fish. Thanks for watching the video. Subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you guys in the next video.